Okay, so I'm listening to some amazing pop music while I'm doing uh, the kitchen. That's what I'm doing. Uh, cleaning the kitchen. And uh, the song by Pink, I think it's titled Never Gonna Not Dance Again or something something along those lines, right? That's the, that's the chorus is, you know, I'm never not gonna... I'm never not gonna dance again. This is, <laughs> I was really listening to it and it just freaking hit me. I knew this song was really felt good to me. I knew this song was really important to me because this is a part of my story. For those of you that have, well, known me my whole life, for those people that have known me my whole life, know that I have been dancing <laughs> my whole life. I was a dancer as a teenager and, and as a young child, and I was constantly dancing around the house. Dancing, dancing, dancing. You literally could not get me to stop moving. I would put on some music and I would just make these dances. I learned ballet and a little bit of hip hop and jazz as I was older, but primarily ballet when I was younger. And so I would just make these ballet dances. I would choreograph and it would be different every time. Sometimes I would choreograph things and practice them, but usually they were different every single time. My mom could not get me to stop moving. <laughs> I was constantly, constantly moving my body. And then, you know, of course I, I took point as a teenager and my junior year of high school, I was on a trampoline and I wasn't even jumping, but I ended up getting hurt. I ended up getting a, a second degree sprain in my ankle and it hurt, it hurt so bad. But it was bad enough that I wasn't able to be on point anymore. I probably should have gone to physical therapy, but I did not. And um, that's not my fault. I have to get over that. Not get over that, but just acknowledge that it wasn't my fault that I didn't get the care that I needed. But anyway, I couldn't dance again. I couldn't dance on point anymore. So I had to quit the bat. I had to quit my dance company. And I was devastated. I can't even express to you how much that hurt. At that time, I was applying for the Naval Academy and I was looking at uh, the possibility of getting an appointment to the Naval Academy. And I was, I remember I was filling out my application and all I had was dance. I had dance and I had my art and I had the musicals and choir. I wasn't in sports, I didn't do you know, I had very good academics. I had, you know, I was a member of clubs. I was president of the French club and the art club and, and things like that, but I didn't do athletics. I wasn't in any sports because I devoted all of my time to the arts and my perform and performing, the performing arts specifically. So when I got hurt, something broke inside of me because I wasn't able to dance anymore. I ended up actually trashing my application. I never even went to go get a Naval appointment. If, you, if you're not familiar with the Naval Academy or any of the uh, military academies, you have to have a recommendation basically from a US, like a Senator or a House, uh, from Congress, okay, basically. So each Senator has a appointment that they are allowed to give to a person and um, each house representative also and that's how they make up the classes of military there's a couple exceptions to that but for the most part that's the only way you can get into the naval academy is if you have an appointment by somebody in order to get in well i had access to one and there's a very, very, very good chance I would have been able to get it because I had a connection to one of the Indiana senators and there's a very, very good chance, especially because I was a woman, very, very good chance that I would have been able to get in. But 
I was so devastated because I couldn't be in my ballet company anymore. I threw my application and I didn't even try. That was, I stopped, I mean, at that point I stopped dancing. I had also had, I stopped dancing ballet. I had also tried out for the Palm Squad, which was the dance team for high school. And I tried out um, and I ended up not getting in because of my breast size. Basically, I was told that my, I would change the aesthetic of the team because of my body shape and that my, basically my body would make the dances look too sexy and would be highly inappropriate. I don't obviously know, I wasn't privy to that specific conversation and what that sounded like, but it was something along those lines. And so uh, I wasn't able to do that either. I went into the military later on and of course, like was I dancing in the military? No, <laughs> there was all the lines, you know, I was marching and I was doing all these things. I stopped dancing. I stopped dancing for years and years and years and years and years until this last year when I realized, I don't know, I just started remembering. I started remembering all the things inside of me that brought me joy as a younger person. My art, my singing, my dancing, moving, all of the, like all of those things that was, that lit me up, performing, all of it. All these things that really brought me joy as a teenager and as a child and as a teenager that I carried into adolescence, I brought all these things back. Dancing, was one of them. Now, I'm not taking any formal classes. I just started doing stuff on like Just Dance and I got it like a belly dancing workout video. And honestly, the biggest part that really woke me up the most was just listening to this music. It's like enriching divine feminine kind of new age, you know, music. But I started listening to it and I realized my body wanted to move. And so it started moving and I started creating space in my day when I would move. Just and let, excuse me, and let my body move the way she wanted to. I didn't put any restrictions on her. I didn't say we're going to do, you know, this kind of movement or that kind of movement. I let her move however she wanted to. And it was like waking up an old friend. I realized this morning when I was listening to that song, Never Gonna Not Dance Again. Oh my gosh, that's me. I'm never going to not dance again. There's this part of me that, I mean, there's so many multiple layers to it and I can't go into it in the um, you know amount of time that I'm talking, I'm going for 10 minutes here, but maybe I'll talk about it more. I'll talk about the, the, the multiple layers of movement for me. But what it did was it unlocked this pure joy and acceptance that I hadn't known in such a long time. The, the fact that I realized that I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna abandon that part of myself any, ever again. Am I gonna be a professional dancer? No, I don't wanna be a professional dancer. But just dancing in my kitchen as I'm cleaning gives me joy. It lights me up. More to come. <laughs>